Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm Nan and this is Silky Intuitive. Uh, I've decided to start a new series for you. I'm going to probably come out with maybe two or three a week, hopefully. In-depth looks at, uh, right now I want to focus on what we're manifesting. I do want to take a look today, though. Uh, I want to take a deep look, especially for my singles. And for those who are possibly in less than satisfying relationships, I want to look at what those people are manifesting into their lives right now. So if you're unhappy in your situation, and you're looking to get out, maybe this reading is for you. And if you are single and looking to manifest in something brand new, this reading may be for you too. Now I've got a variety of decks here. I think I covered it all. I think I may have, well, I don't have any of my bicycle playing cards out here because we're not going to look at finances. Maybe next week. We'll uh, drag out the um, bicycles and do a financial forecast for you guys. I'll have to look, at, look deeper into that possibility. But today, we're focusing our energy on the love that we're manifesting. Now, if you're in a committed relationship and everything is fine and dandy, I don't know, maybe I've got a message here for you too. So watch. This is about love, what we're manifesting. I really want to concentrate right now on my singles. And what is it for those unhappy in what they've got right now? And what they're bringing in. What the potential is for their future. I've been working on the cards for a good period this morning. This is the Sun and Moon Tarot by, excuse me, Vanessa DeCourt. It's a very romantic kind of whimsical deck. And I haven't used it very often. And so I decided I'd give it a good workout this morning. So... All right, we are really focusing on our singles, on our unhappy in love, our unhappy with the way love has turned out. I mean, shit, maybe you're my age, and love still hasn't worked out. It hasn't worked out for me. But I digress. God damn it, I made it about me. Shut up. Okay, I heard just I just heard Michael scream in my ear. Okay, shut up. I'm supposed to be concentrating on you, which I am, but you know what? I can't help. I can't help but feel personally connected to this. Sorry. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. It's time again. Okay, the Queen of Swords. Well, she's a cleaner. If you're in a bad love situation. See, she's holding somebody's head. Look at it. She's holding someone's head here. He doesn't look too happy to be there either. So, she kind of removes the energy uh, that uh, <clears throat> is in the way from uh, progressing further. Maybe. Now, do I want this one? I guess I'm going to take them now because I already started. Uh, the Four of Swords. More Swords energy. Now, I'm going to say some of you guys really just need to relax. Okay? This card is called Truce. 
So if you're in an unhappy relationship and you're disagreeing or the communication was kind of negative, maybe you need to call a truce to something that you're just disagreeing on. The Queen of Swords brings clarity. But we've got a lot of communication issues here. And uh, for some of you, it's a time to reflect. It's a time to reflect on your past, on the things that you are, <clears throat> pardon me, possibly removing from your life now. Things that you may be removing from your life in the future. More swords. Now we have the five of swords. Uh, for some of you, I think communication may be an issue. This is called defeat. Some of you have been feeling rather defeated by love. Whether you are single right now or you are in a committed relationship, there is a feeling of defeat around some of you if you're looking for further happiness in your love life, we have a card that maybe you've given up. Maybe you've given up on love wherever you're at in life. Because for some of you, <clears throat> it's been an incredibly painful experience where Possibly, communication may not have really been clear or positive. Both of these cards, there are a lot of clouds overhead, which means that there is conflict, and it is mental conflict. And sometimes we're in a relationship where we just have to clear our own negative thinking, our own negative and inner thinking about ourselves. And it, that negative thinking only causes defeat. So some of us are in a period of needing, needing to come out of the negative thinking. But we have the Nine of Wands, and this is about strength. So, maybe we've been protecting ourselves, possibly. There's been a need for it. Have we been uh, threatened in some way by communication with someone else? Has there been a reason to fear someone <clears throat> in the past? And, um, I mean, I, I'm seriously thinking that this person may have had to liver, literally put up a wall of protection around them. And it took a great deal of strength. I mean, restraining orders if your partner was violent or abusive in any kind. Even if they were emotionally abusive. A lot of you have put up a wall, a wall of strength, but a wall is still a wall. And if no one can penetrate it, you're standing in front of that wall all alone. See him? He's standing in front of this wall all alone. So maybe this is saying that you've grown to be a very strong person. After a time of hurt, disappointment, maybe a time of reflection where you really haven't associated with anyone because associations for some people are very painful right now. And you've been emotionally defeated, mentally defeated. And I'm happy to see that we are coming out of that place through strength. But again, 
strength comes with a wall. It's a dark place. It's a dark place, but there are stars up there, which signify to me wishes, desires, dreams. And so you've grown to a place, some of you, or this is where you intend to be in a stronger place that may be dark and may feel alone, but you're strong. You're strong and you're following the path of what it is that you desire, but you're stepping forward. Now, from behind the wall, you're coming up front of what it was that you built around yourself, some of you, and you're ready to step out and regain a life with someone again if you're single and if you're in a committed relationship maybe you've been in a place of solitude for a while and you're rather ready to either confront and ask the other person either to kindly come with you out of maybe a wall that they've built around themselves or you're going to walk away. Or you're going to walk away alone. Because a lot of us are at this point, if we're unhappy in our relationships, some of us have walked away alone. And this can be saying that maybe you're considering it too if you've gotten this far into the video. Now you guys know you're the ones I'm talking to. If this isn't resonating with you, we won't have moon and rising signs on this, but in a few days, we're going to put out another video. Let's see where this one ends. Okay. All right. Do I have any John Holland? Ooh, I need a John Holland. Mm. I need John Holland for this first row. So I want to do... A little bit of backup. This is my backup right here. This is my tarot backup. I love this deck. Self-explanatory, yes, but the messages are there and they are powerful. Now we're just asking for backup information on this row of cards. And I've already shuffled them, but we're going in. And I don't know if I'm using all of these decks. We'll see where we end up. All right. That's too many. I'm not doing it. Okay, thank you. Let's move on. <laughs> that was like a quarter of the deck. I wasn't going there. Okay, because we have a lot of ground to cover here, guys. Okay. Are we ready? We're not. Gee, just tell me when we're ready. My, uh, if you already don't know, my spirit guide is a friendly, cheerful, cheerful, I said. Um, he is a uh, old friend who's passed over to the other side. And he visits me. He loves to visit me for these readings. And so we play together. So here we, there, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Uh, we have here the card of moving on and movement choices and decisions. So like I said, some of you are in transformative phase. Ooh, 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 and I'm gonna take the, it looks like I wanna take the one from the bottom too. Passions ignited. The Ace of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> I said, now we got, hello, for some of you, a brand new, oh good Lord, oh God Almighty. Holy smokes, okay, I just got warm by about 100 degrees which tells me that some of you are moving on to a hallelujah, good Lord almighty. 
a sexual experience. And um, I don't think it, I, I think it comes with a fairly decent amount of return on your affection. But there's moving forward. Because some of you have been stuck in a very low place. Mentally, absolutely, shutting yourselves away. And needing to be released from all of that. Now, we're going to move on and grab four more cards. The Two of Pentacles talks about changes coming your way. Yes, I see said it. <sighs> Changes. Let's all breathe. <sighs> and uh, one of those two. Okay. Changes with the two of pentacles. I don't know why I'm feeling so giddy, but I think it's all good, right? Okay. Now, the seven of cups little bit of illusion, maybe a little bit of fantasy, which isn't all that bad. If you're in the initial stages of engaging with a new, even their energy, even if they are just a passing energy, and you are engaging with that person, there may be a sense of overwhelming. Now, this is the card of debauchery. And I don't even know if I believe that, honestly. Like, it's, well, I mean, for me, I can't imagine anything that gets so sexually intense that it goes to the point of illusion. Or maybe, for some of you, you're very much connected in fantasy. To someone. And for me, that's kind of a slippery slope. Because we don't want to get so... Uh, pardon me for a second. I want to say wrapped up. But that doesn't even... That chained. Obsessed. We don't want to become so obsessed with the fantasy around someone new arriving in our lives that we lose who we are and we lose that actual energy because we've gotten so wrapped up in fantasy that we can't reach out to the real thing when it comes through. It's a weird message, right? I don't know why he sent that, but for somebody, that's going to say something. Maybe you're up to your necks and fantasizing about this new person or this person you've met. And you've drawn them in, but it's more fantasy than reality. But what you need to realize is that change is coming. Now let's see what the next card is. Six of Pentacles. Giving equally, taking equally, balance. But this talks about being successful. Talks about re releasing generosity. Uh, an equal give and take. So, whoever is having <laughs> a debacle type or a uh, debaucherous, is that a word? Whoever is having this uh, lustful, almost head-spinning, confusing type of fantasy around someone. Michael is saying the real reality around that fantasy is that that 
is a reality if you come out of the fantasy. Come out of the fancy, fantasy and embrace embrace the reality of a very um, balanced, secure, harmonious relationship. But there's a risk that needs to be taken with the fool. Someone needs to not be fearful of that alligator coming out up, up out of the water. He may be your friend, but he's going to guide you in the right direction. And that is within you. But you need to take that risk. You need to maybe walk a different path, take a different way. Because there's something bigger waiting for you. Now the sun is behind you in this, which is saying you need to stop maybe where you're at and turn around and take that path that will guide you to the direction you need to go in order to meet up with this new love element. This, again, my singles, you guys, it's, I, I'm almost breathless for you guys. I want this so badly for you guys because um, not only for me, because for me, uh, I'm kind of a realist. You know? uh, um, so, but for you guys, I'm concentrating on you. Your possibilities are more than big, more than huge, more than amazing right now. Now, we're going to take, right there, there's the deck. And we're going to take three more on this row. Um, coming out of the fantasy, because I think that's the connection. That's the connection to change right here, is coming up. Out of the fantasy. I need more room. Coming up out of the fantasy. And really, and, and turning this into an actuality. An actual functioning relationship. So some of you have been seriously focusing on one energy, but it's been all fantasy. So spirit is saying it's time to turn that fantasy into the reality. Three more. Uh, pardon me. Hello. And uh, what did I... <laughs> uh, guys, love begins. Okay. Here we go. We're going on. The waiting game. The two of wands. <laughs> we have another two here. We have another two here. Okay. All right. What's this emotional withdrawal? I think this is past energy. Or maybe this is saying you're waiting for the ideal time to move. Oh. Little, oh, it's a, it's a little feather off of my Christmas decorations. Okay, excuse me for one second. <coughs> All right, I need a sip of my my coffee while I talk to you guys. All right, love begins. So there is a new love waiting for you guys. <laughs> There's a new love waiting for you guys. Did you see how that happened? Look at that. But some of you are still withdrawn. How close have you come to this person who you walk past every day in town and have said, shit, holy crap, I love that person. If only I could tell them. You know, the funny thing is you could have probably told them every time that you've seen them. But you're still holding back. 
the Eight of Cups, you're still holding back because of the past disappointments, because of having to walk away from something that maybe you put your life into, but you had to walk away from it. That's for my unhappies. Okay? You've been in a state of emotional withdrawal and you maybe possibly could have had the opportunity a few times to express. If you're already separated, Spirit is saying, what are you waiting for? We want you to be happy. Come out of your little room. Come out from behind the veil. Because look, it's time to move on. Passion has been ignited. But you need to take the chance and come out from behind the veil of emotional withdrawal. Now let's move on. All right, what's next, guys? I think we're on a good path with the tarot. Okay. So here we're recovering from emotional withdrawal. It's time to come out from behind that veil because something new awaits you. How are you going to make it happen? Well, you're going to make it happen. Let's see. <laughs> the lovers. Okay. This is ideal. For some of you going through this right now, this is ideal. This is the big time where love is concerned. And maybe you just came out of a period where there were three people involved. But in your situation with love begins, this is the trusting soulmate situation. It's that karmic soulmate situation that some of you have actually uh, been playing the waiting game on. But now... It may be presenting itself to you. You have to open yourself up to that possibility. Because look at here, the soulmate connection just arrived and just in time. The Four of Wands, the completion, the completion for some of you. This is going to bring the completion of the foundation, of the home. It's going to bring, even if you just came out of a 30 fucking year marriage with a miserable son of a bitch, and you're just moving into a new situation with someone, it has the potential to be the completion of that firm foundation that that other miserable SOB could not do for you, didn't want to do for you. So you end up having to do for yourself. And look where it brings you to the soulmate connection that also gives you the lovers. That perfect soulmate connection. <laughs> Dominion. The Two of Wands is next. This is the potential to finding your real place in this world. Dominion talks about your space, whether it's your heart space or your home space. You are in the process, some of you, of finding your spot, your little place on the map that you can call yours. And it's going to be a good, long-lasting energy. I wish it for all of you, 
but there's going to be so many of you watching, it's hard to tell who's going to have the absolute completion of this. One of you will. Let's keep going. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Justice. Justice, for some of you, is that severing. It's the absolute ending that comes with the Queen of Swords. Some of you are contemplating leaving your current relationship and uh, serving up a dose of justice for whoever it is that has been lacking in your life. Looking forward to something new, but justice is definitely being weighed in your favor at this time. Maybe that this is the time to take advantage of this energy. It's positive energy. If, you're con if you have been deeply considering severing, the energy is here that would bring positive results if you are culminating this now. It's a very positive energy. Now, let's go back to the John Holland. Okay. Now, we're just going to end up messing this all up anyway. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if you've ever gotten a reading from me, you know this can happen. All right, here we go. Three down. Uh, the Two of Cups spiritual union <laughs> what the heck oh wow the authority card the emperor now you guys know how I feel about the emperor personally I have a con a connection to someone who fits the description of the emperor I'm very happy to see him here Wow, we have the card of defeat again. It's exactly the card that we had before. We had this earlier on when we were dealing with the Five of Swords. Again, there's a feeling of defeat around the situation here. And I, I have to ask where that energy is coming from now. Because it seems like we've got a union here. With someone incredibly, maybe even high standing in the community. Maybe this authority figure actually has an air of authority to him. Maybe this person, him or her, um, is the owner of a business. Has high standings within the community within the world stage. It doesn't matter, really. Anybody could be watching this. The spiritual union here is the Two of Cups. It's the joining together of two perfected lives. I mean, brought together. The lives are perfected, but it almost feels like one of these people is moving in a different direction at this time. And it leaves you feeling defeated. I almost feel as if maybe the authority figure just has walls of his own built up. That's what I'm hearing from Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. The authority figure that you're bringing in some of you right now. This He can be an Aries because he would represent Aries. Um, he can represent a fire sign. Absolutely. But he has conflicts of his own. 
And that was the message that Michael just gave me around that. We have the Princess of Swords. Communications being brought forward around a contractual reunion. And the delivery of love or messages of love the princesses, they deliver messages. They would be like a page. They bring news and then we have a prince, which would be a knight of pentacles. So, I almost feel like some of you, some of you may be walking into a situation with someone who is already committed to someone else. They may also be going through a synchronicity with you, some sort of a breakup, maybe going through their life situation right now. I also hear another scenario for this love partner is that they are engaged to be married and they are currently looking for a way out of that situation. They have rethought their love situation to someone else and are currently looking to leave that behind. Some of them are married to someone else. There will be those synchronicities for some of you where this new partner is also going through a breakup, sub, a breakup of some kind. It's a synchronicity that will bring the two of you together. But there will be those, there will be those similarities when you meet this person. Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy. They, too, have been lied to, cheated to, or, or cheated on, uh, left behind to grieve. Uh, some of them have been stolen from, just like you. Here. The moon. Okay, and some of them have secrets. But who doesn't? But there are some... Things hidden around this person, I'm not going to lie. Not everybody is perfect and not everybody wants their shit known to the world. We live in a, in, a, in a world where we think we need to know everything. When spirit is saying here, you know what? They've been through a shitload of stuff that maybe you don't even want to think about. So let them have their secrets. <laughs> Spirit saying let them have their privacy because some of the things that they're hiding, they might share with you in their own good time. But do not be so bold as to think that you are worthy of all of their secrets. Let them have some of their shit. Because honestly, you might not want their shit. Discontent and boredom. Now this is the Four of Cups. Okay, well it's normal. I think that energy is normal. That feeling of discontent. If this person is hiding something... Look, they've been hurt. They've been lied to, stolen from, deceived, cheated on, run over backwards by the pickup truck. You know, the one with the testicles hanging off the bumper. Whatever their circumstances is, look, they've been through it. They want to keep some of this stuff secret. Spirit is saying, some of you are going to feel that you need to know everything right away. 
we live in that kind of age. Let's not do that with this person. It's imperative in this situation for you to let them hold their secrets. Now I'm going to do one more row. The King of Wands. We're going to do a continuation of this. Maybe tomorrow I'll come back and we'll do a part two on this. I'm thinking I might need one. The King, look at this. The King of Wands. Now we've got, yeah, fire sign could be, doesn't have to be. Man or woman, again, doesn't have to be. But uh, he is kind of a one-of-a-kind guy because, look, at he rides a unicorn. He's one of a kind, you know, and uh, he's kind of explosive if you know him. Uh, and you know what? Our, our emperor here is a fire sign, too. Maybe this person has a lot of fire in their chart. Again, we're talking about possibly just this authority figure here. And we're draining off of that energy there. The Six of Cups. Oh, guys, you're not going to believe it. Okay, Six of cu Cups. Okay, this is the reuniting of souls. People that were friends, playmates maybe, as children, or a relationship from the past that gave pleasure. So this King of Wands may be someone that you know from your past. Someone who actually uh, brought a lot of joy uh, to your life in the past. A friend from the past, even an associate from the past. But that looks like that might change. Or this is someone that maybe just simply brings you balance and pleasure, harmony, fluidity. It's a good energy. Now, we have the hangman here. Now, the hangman is not bad energy. Don't get ever get scared of the hangman. Because the hangman says you may need to get be patient with this situation growing. Because these two people are just getting to know one another. They're playing like children, okay? They're, even though there may be a lot of heated desire and passion between these two people, there's an element of need to be playful. But to get to that level with this person, this authority figure, this uptight kind of authority figure, it may take you a while. It, you may need a great deal of patience and waiting and understanding with this person to get them to the point where they are uh, not so authoritative. Maybe more playful because I really feel that this may, this new person may be a little bit of an uptight kind of energy. The King of Swords. The King of Swords. Wow. He again. He brings clarity more than anything. You know, he clearly sees the birds flying overhead. He knows which direction to go now. He sees them. He's following them because they're guiding his way. So you know where you're going. You have clarity now. You have good, clear decision around this hangman energy. Now, I'm just going to do this from up here. You can see my hand. Oh, goody. The, the, three, of, uh, the three of pentacles or the reward and recognition card. In this kind of a reading, this is about... Meeting, gathering, maybe through work or through group meetings or in some way or another, gathering with other people and working together actually brings you closer to this authority figure. If this is what it is, 
that you're trying to manifest. He kind of has a place of royalty here in my reading for you guys because I really think that some of you are really kind of sick of the ho-hum kind of lover guy or girl. They're kind of just the daily, average, day-to-day, -day, humdrum kind of, oh God, here we go again, personality. You want to really step it up, some of you. You're saying, what the fuck? I have been hurt by love so many times. Now it's time for me to take control of what it is that I want, and I seek someone who wants the same shit that I do, but God damn it, they got to be worth it. I'm sick and tired of settling for people that just are not worth my time. And that's you right now. Some of you, this is what you're wanting to manifest. So we've got this recognition and reward here. This feeling that working together and being recognized as a group is actually going to bring you closer to this authority figure. Now, we also have a repeater here. The Foundation and Achievement card. This is the Four of Wands. Okay, so this means for me that this situation, it's reconfirmation that this situation really does have a great sense of stability for you. It really kind of makes great sense for you. I love it. Oh my God. The 19 card. The light. The sun. Holy crap. It's the sun. We're going to end this reading on the sun. I think it's absolutely great energy for you guys that are trying to manifest this wonderful thing into your life. Now, I'm going to bore you. To, to shit, and I'm going to read the definition behind the light from the John Holland Tarot, just a piece of it. Okay, this card reassure, reassures you that this is your time to be in the light. No matter what's happening around you, prosperity and bliss are promised. The qualities of this brilliant card are pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. The light always brings forth new birth, a constant renewal of life. This is one of the best, if not one of the most positive cards in the tarot deck, and it's all yours. So there you go on that. Now, I actually, I'm going to quickly grab, before I go, I'm not reading all of these. I don't need Sabila's. I think we're right on track with manifestation without getting too deep, too particular. Uh, this is, we're working first video with the energy, the potential, the possibility, what we're manifesting, singles, unhappy, what are we working towards, what do we really want, what are we really trying to manifest in our lives? I am going to grab, uh, let's see what Gilded Reverie wants to be read for us. Do I have any poppers? The 16. I'll take it. On the bottom, the letter. And they all just dropped on the floor. There we go. Okay. Now, let's get the book. <laughs> okay. They all wanted to be read. But I'm only taking these two. First, we have the 16. It says, Shiny Sparkles Guidance. Healing is what I promise. Through a gentle feeling. 
I am reassurance, inspiration, and a new path for your exploration. Wish upon a star, for I bring hope and light from afar. I like it. Now, okay. It pretends sex and a promise. Now, I think the promise is actually connected to the 27 here. And the 27 is a letter. It says, I'm a document. I'm a message. I'm information and I'm a package. Sometimes I can be an invoice, a certificate, or a test result. You can find me as your mail, a newsletter, or a, an award. Look around me to find out more of what I am leaning about. And this message is actually something that is connected to this wish, this desire, this hope that you're trying to bring in. And I do want to get a life purpose oracle for you. So you're awaiting messages focused around the things that you're desiring. And it's weird to say it, but yes, a divorce, a separation, uh, moving on from a bad situation can absolutely be a wish fulfilled. I know what I'm talking about. This one and this one. The Life Purpose Oracle. First we have your nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. And more than anything, this is saying, take care of yourself, please. Take care of your health. As we're manifesting, it can bear a great deal of stress on our bodies. So let is, let's be kind. Get exercise. Drink plenty plenty of water and make sure we're getting sufficient nutrition because times of manifestation can be very damaging to the skin and to your nerves. Wow, listen to music. Uh, your connection to music is healing for yourself and it's going to be healing for those people around you. So it's just saying connect with music. You're going to find messages in music, healing in music, either performing it yourself or turning on your favorite journey album. You know, connect with whatever it is that makes your heart soar. We're not looking to be brought down anymore. We're looking to be brought up. We're looking to be brought up into a better time and to elevate ourselves not only through our gifts and what we entertain ourselves with. Turn off Fox News, God damn it, and put on the beach boys and dance and take care of our bodies, okay? Take care of ourselves. Because it's what this new person who's wanting, waiting to come into your life while you're transforming, they're going to need the healthiest form of you that you can give them. Now, if you want to reach out to me and get one of these readings meant just for you, go to my website, order an hour reading, and I'll get back to you. We'll get this set up. But you need to order an hour for this reading. I'll put it on my website as soon as I remember to do so. Okay? It's called the Manifestation Reading. Now, that's a one-hour reading. If you want to go over to my Vimeo channel, I have little ones, little itty-bitty features over there. Uh, some of them on love for monthlies, but some of them go deeper into energies, life circumstances, um, walks in life, uh, grieving, separation, divorce for some of you. So you can reach out through Vimeo and watch some of my features over there. And until the next time, guys, uh, those of you manifesting, blessed be, amen. Tomorrow, Look for a part two on this. I really think I want to do part two tomorrow. 
and uh, see what energy we're looking to manifest for all of us transformative type of people. And until the next time, take care of yourselves. <sighs> I can breathe now. <sighs> One another. And I hope I don't forget this. And peace.